Hey everyone! First, I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who has subscribed and to everybody watching. I hope you enjoy this voiceover. This voiceover is going to be a little bit different than my previous ones. In my other voiceovers, I would basically explain everything I was doing in the video, whereas this voiceover, I'm just going to talk about anything that comes to mind. So if you are a new subscriber here, this is the stables where I took my riding lessons for around two years or so. And to make a long story short, I decided to ditch my lessons and eventually started just helping out with grooming after I took about a year off from horses. <laughs> Leading up to today now, it's been around 15 months since I began volunteering here. Hi sweetie. Let's get her in. I absolutely love being around the horses. I love taking care of them, grooming, exercising, feeding, all of it. I just love it all. It makes me so happy. Sometimes I feel like I miss riding, but that feeling is not really frequent. The horses here are mostly Morgans. I read in Wikipedia that the Morgan breed is one of the earliest developed in the US. Most of the horses here are around 14.2 hands to around 15.3 hands. They're muscular and they have well-defined arched necks. Most are bay color, but we do have a couple of chestnut geldings, one of which you will see in a minute. And then we have some black Morgans as well. This is Stella. If you guys remember her from one of my previous videos, she's one of my friend's horses and she's around six years old. I just finished lunging this guy here. He is one of our bigger Morgans. Now here is one of the chestnuts. I love playing with them freely in the arena. It's fun time. Things are calm out here. There isn't much wind, which makes it feel warmer, especially since the sun is shining and the horses love it. It's just peaceful. It's time for me to turn these guys in now. By the way, here is the other handsome chestnut, Oz. Bring Oz in first. <laughs> He's such a pretty orange color, I'm obsessed with it. Don't you guys love those hook sounds? So many of you guys have shared with me that you love to see my cooking skills and that you enjoy seeing my dinners or and even my breakfasts. So I'm going to add my dinner into the end of this video. That's why it's great when you guys leave comments because it leads me to know what type of content to create. So keep on dropping those comments guys. I'm glad that I was smart enough to cook my dinner before I went to the barn because I have to be honest, when I'm at the barn I get really tired and by the time I get home I am beat. The last thing I want to do is cook dinner. So I think I was making my dinner around 10.30 this morning or so. But this is a really good soup. I usually just put whatever vegetables and whatever I have to add to it, that's what I make the soup with. It's never mm -hmm. the same ingredients. <laughs> I 
Avery, that's just all your friends are calling for you. filled up their waters. <laughs> They're so cute. Who's a good girl? Let's fill your water. Who's the best girl? <laughs> Look what I got. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you something to neigh about right here. <laughs> Let's put it in your bowl. I like to put it in your bowl too, not always hand feed it to you. Where's the pony? She's up top somewhere. I would have given the pony some carrots too. Where's the pony? Oh, here she comes. I see her. Pony, over here. Come over here, pony. Oh, I guess the gate is closed. No, it's not. It's open. The gate is open. Why don't you come say hello to us? Why don't you come say hello? <laughs> I gotta give you some carrots. Stick your head back in that fence, girl. <laughs> I have one more for you. She's like, let go of it. <laughs> You're so cute. Such a good girl you are. Huh. So here I'm just cutting up an onion. So now I'm going to cook this onion and get it nice and caramelized. I'm using some extra virgin olive oil and then I have some parsley here. This parsley is going to be added to my meat. Using ground beef. So, some tomatoes here to add to my meat, give it some flavor. Now, I'm just gonna mix everything, it's pretty much almost fully cooked. Now, I add the garlic in. I don't wanna cook the garlic too much because it can burn and really quickly. Um, and here we are, we're just adding the tomatoes to the meat, and then we're adding the parsley here, letting it all cook together nicely. That looks delicious. Okay, so here is my broth. Here are my organic, uh, farm fresh actually, farm fresh potatoes. 
uh, red pepper and some celery. Mix that all together. I think I had this cook for about around maybe an hour and a half or so. Then I added my frozen vegetables and I added a can of beans. And that is my version of minestrone soup. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.